some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Moses Lake, Washington, with a fraudster who's been active for about three months now. And he tries to do a public records request on a mental health facility called Renew, which deals with mental health conditions, including, uh, well, self-deletion thoughts and a myriad of other mental health issues. Oh, man, Frauder, there is just so much wrong here. No wonder they kicked you out. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show as much as we can. In Moses Lake, we're going to go to the Renew Grant County Crisis Solutions Facility and do a public records request, see if they respect our right to record and photograph in public. Dude, this is a mental health facility dealing with all sorts of crises at any given time. So I really don't think they want you there for any of this. And especially since HIPAA laws may apply, you bloody moron. And don't give that argument that it's not your responsibility to protect the patient's records and that it's all on them to protect them. Well, it is their job to protect them by keeping idiots like you out of there. A little longer than a few minutes later. Who are you? Uh, my name is Gandalf. Just here uh, collecting some information uh, about the facility, and uh, I just got some information on my Angel. investigative reporting here that tells me that this building really isn't even being used. What what happened? Well, we're it's being used for the crisis team. Gotcha. We, but like we, we house the crisis team. Nope. Was it meant to? Was I don't it, feel comfortable answering questions. I don't know who you are. You have a camera recording us. I, I don't. Well, I'm just an investigative journalist. Yeah. All right. So. Okay. I don't have any more Thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. I'll just... No recording, please, here. Oh, yeah, no. I'm sorry, sir, but this man is an investigative journalist. He has every right to be there, uh, though he doesn't understand anything about the law or HIPAA or anything like that. But, no, uh, he has every right to be there to shove his little camera into your face and uh, act like a complete jackass until you kick him out. And that's exactly what he wants. He wants you to kick him out for clicks and views. And damn all the patient's rights because they don't matter in the face of his YouTube fame. Totally can, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Can we have you go next door? I just... Oh, I will admit it. I'm just going to gather some more content for my story and then... Uh... Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. Good. Um, so I, I'm going to have to ask you to go next door, though, because we can't have any clients or members of the public here in this building. It's open to the public. Uh, so it's not, because this building is not licensed to have clients in here, so I, I'm going to have to ask to have you go next door. To oh, yeah, I'm not a client. I'm just no, I know, but even just members of the public, because there are staff working here, so for HIPAA and confidentiality reasons, we can't have anyone in the building that's not a staff member. So, you're welcome to go to the lobby next door, though. Uh, I'm still not understanding why I can't be here and film. Uh, because you're not a staff member here. It doesn't say it's a restricted building. Uh, correct, it doesn't say it on the door, but I'm not able to have someone that's not a staff member. There are people working here. Well, pardon me, you ignorant frauditor, but I think you've been living under a rock all these years and haven't exactly heard of HIPAA. Basically, it's all about patient rights and confidentiality, bloody moron. So my suggestion to you is to turn your happy ass around and walk out that door, then go to your nearest library and look up the HIPAA laws because you are treading on very dangerous territory right there, my friend. So for confidentiality and HIPAA reasons, I can't have you in the building. So I'd be happy to walk you next door to the lobby. So you're saying a member of the public can't be here, but you can't point to exactly what the statutory authority is or the administrative code authority HIPAA, is? HIPAA, because of HIPAA, yeah, HIPAA laws. HIPAA applies to you, not me. Right, but I can't, I have staff working here that sure. have confidential and private health information that they're working on, so I can't have 
members of the public, people that are non-staff members here in the building. So, well, why is it open to the public then? Are you deaf or just stupid or both? Because she's been explaining to you that this building is not open to the public, you bloody moron. It is a building where HIPAA laws apply and therefore you do not belong there. And yes, HIPAA does apply to them, but also applies to someone like you not gaining access to critical information, which is why their job is to kick your sorry ass out the door. I mean, it's not its not open to the public. This, well, it's open to staff. Walked right in. Correct, because the door is unlocked. Sure. It's mm -hmm. a county building. Yes, for county employees. Are you a county employee? No, but it doesn't say okay. it doesn't say authorized person only. I mean, you, you know by administrative codes, of course, that if you're going to restrict the public from accessing a public building that we pay for, you have to have the appropriate documents or signage up to prevent us from coming in or lock the door or whatever. Well, now, most honest people, and I do mean honest people, realize that there are uh, places that you don't need to be in because of sensitive information that might violate the uh, rights of patients, such as in HIPAA laws. But you're not exactly an honest person now, are you? Okay. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you to leave again because my staff can't work here if you're here in the building. If you don't want to leave, I'll call law enforcement and have them ask you to leave. Oh, sure. You want to give them a ring? No problem. Okay. I'll, I'll hang out for them. Will do. What was your name again, sir? Gandalf the White. Okay. Gandalf White. Gandalf the White. Okay, Gandalf White. Oh, look at this smartass calling himself Gandalf the White, a man from the uh, Lord of the Rings story who's supposed to be a hero. Is that how you think of yourself as a hero? Well, really a villain thinks of himself as a hero in his own story, so you are definitely pushing the villainous limits here. Many, many minutes later. You guys are honestly acting pretty strange. <laughs> so, well, we're, we're dealing with a person that's in here videoing with the camera with their face covered. Yeah, it's cold outside. That uh, doesn't have any reason to be here other than just to show the community what we're potentially using the building for that you believe is incorrect. Isn't that the function of the press? I'm here to collect information and to give that information to other news agencies or whatnot so that they can pick up the story and say, hey, look at this building. What's going on? It's open to the public. Then there's whimsical comments that say it's not open to the public because of HIPAA, which applies only to you guys and not me. I mean, all you got to do is put up an authorized person only sign, lock the door, and don't open it to the public. I mean, it's literally that simple. Okay, so we can't have you record in here, though, with our staff that's working. Sit here, and you can wait until law enforcement comes, and we can talk with them when they are. Oh, yeah, no, I'll totally wait for the police. I don't I don't want okay. them to think I'm leaving my building yeah. at a time I shouldn't be able to be here. Mm -hmm. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. What are your concerns? Oh, so you think you're a member of the press and that other news agencies will pick up your story. Okay, it all begins to make sense now. Well, you know, you're quite delusional considering that, uh, yeah, I don't think any news agencies would be interested in this situation. They'd be more likely to look at you and your channel and just laugh their asses off. Are you going to give the officers your real name and information? <laughs> well, why would I do that? Okay. How's it going? All right, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Cool. So, I've been asked to come talk with you. Um, yeah. Do you mind talking with me? I do. Okay, cool. Well, you, you have that right. Um, I do. I see that you're recording. We're also recording. Everything's on the video recording. Good, good. That's good. Okay. Uh, is there anything that uh, you were looking for? Is there a reason that you're here? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have business here? I do. He doesn't. Okay. Um, well, it looks like this business would like you out of the building and off the property. Are you guys asking to have me trespass? I'm asking to have you leave right now because I can't have my staff perform if you're their asking work duties me, with you here in the building. If you're, at, if you're requesting, I'm not going to honor that request. If you're asking me to be trespassed, then that's something you need to do if they're going to, in fact, issue me a trespass warning in accordance with the administrative codes of Washington State. Why is it that all you for auditors have to take it to the limits of trespassing? I mean, you should know by now that you can be trespassed from any building, anywhere, because it doesn't matter if it's public or private, 
you can be trespassed. So you guys are gonna have to make that decision. Do you want to do it or not? You want to trespass? So basically, just tell them if you are trespassing, you're leaving. Are you gonna do that? And before you make that decision, who are you? What's your position so that I know who's making the decision? Okay, you haven't given with? us any of your identifying yeah. information. I don't feel comfortable. You're a government employee. You I, I have a Fifth Amendment right. I don't need to give you anything. You're a government so employee. So neither I don't have to give you. You're my a government information. employee. I'll just do a public records request. Okay. I mean, if that's feel, how you want to go down with it, that's feel fine. Feel free, sir. Feel free. But for you, are you are you going to be the one? I'm director. Okay, so you are you asking me to be trespassed? I'm asking you to leave. I'm denying the request. Are you asking me to be trespassed? There's this process for being trespassed. You're right. It's in accordance with Washington Administrative Code 468-300-806. That's the process. Do you want that done or not? No. You guys can leave. Of course, they just. So I don't think I was requesting you to leave. He was telling you to leave. No, no. They're requesting. They so asked me to leave. leave. We're telling you to leave. Now the director has stopped asking. Now he is telling you to leave the property. You have now entered trespassing territory. So and now it's time to pe pack up your bags and leave. But you're not exactly going to leave right away, are you, Frauditor? Okay, so you want me trespass? I think there's a difference in what that is. There absolutely is. Yeah. If you're ordering me off the property, you're trespassing me. If that's the case, I want a, tr a no trespass warning from the local police department trespassing me in accordance with that Washington Administrative Code. And we can do that. Okay. So if you would like our assistance in having him leave the property, I need to know that he, that you, want him trespassed from this property. And trespass meaning he can't come back for whatever amount of time. Unless he has a scheduled appointment or he has the right to be here at that point. For you may want to go talk to your, your legal team first, man. You're about to make an enormous mistake. Huge. I don't appreciate you threatening us. That's not a threat. That's well, that sounded like a threat to me, dude. But I doubt you have the money for a lawsuit to begin with because you're a, a pretty much a worthless little frauditor who's just starting out. And then I'm just wondering, what legal standing do you have to be pursuing this particular case anyway? How were you injured financially in this case or any other way to speak of? So that's, that's the thing you're, comp you're compelled to do as a government employee. We have a lot of staff here that's very busy and they need to so get So are you going to do work. it or not? Yes. All right. Okay. Let's go inside. I'll take the no trespass warning then. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Now, what happens if I go back tomorrow into that building? You'll have to proceed with criminal trespassing? Would that be in the second degree? I don't... I believe it would be second degree. I don't believe that's how we're going to move forward with this. Well, how would you move forward? You you can't get my ID unless you have RAS that have committed a crime. We'll address it when it happens. We're not going to hypothetically if this happens. But um, Look, I guess... I you're guess not going to walk this back that you guys just ordered me out after they trust me. Because you I'm said on camera... No, hold on, Campbell. You said on camera, do you want assistance with us removing him from the building? You said it on camera, and then he said, I want him trespassed. The mechanism... The implication was a threat of arrest. Now that he said, I want him trespassed, you guys are doing two things wrong now. Well, now that's the end of the video right there, folks. And I'll just say this right now, right here. Dude, you are not exactly a legal expert. So I wouldn't go back there again because uh, it might end up with you actually getting trespassed and having to face trespassing charges in court. And I don't think you have standing for any civil suits either. So get over it. But at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.